Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Thought I would face polish a couple of stones, and I know you're you really need a flat lap, a vibratory flat lap to get a good face polish, but I don't have one of those, but I do have some grinding pads that are meant for the four and a half ink four and a half inch angle grinders for polishing large granite countertops. So I figure if I keep moving the stone, I'm gonna get a nice finish on it. <laughs> and uh, one of them is uh, a commission <laughs> from my wife. She had a pudding stone laying around that she wanted done. So I'm hoping to get a nice little polish out of that. Uh, I have a piece of banded shirt I picked up from Lake Huron that I'm really looking forward to. It was really hard to cut and I just gave up on cutting it, slabbing it to turn it into a uh, cabs so I thought I would put a face polish on it and have something I would display and keep for myself for a change. I don't do that very often and same thing with this big piece of quartz. I absolutely love quartz. Uh, it's the most common. I know nobody cares. It's just me. It's all about me. <laughs> but uh, yeah I thought it'd be nice to get a polish on it and then one that I'd picked up from Summit Beach. So and this one I had intended to turn into calves, but again I found it way too hard, too slow to cut through, and I finally gave up and I thought, you know what? I want this for myself. So yeah, gonna get a nice little face polish. I got some saw marks and all of them that are gonna have to be ground down, and uh, let's get started on it. To be a man I'm a fool To jeopardize news And you I swear I'd change Final result on these four pieces. Just thought I'd share it real quick. Uh, this was a piece I picked up at Summit Beach uh, just on the water. I thought it was really cool. It had a lot of quartz in it. And I started cutting into it. It was pretty hard. And I finally got bored with cutting it. And it was a rough cut. So I decided to polish it and uh, 
Ah, oh, look at that. Not a bad face polish. I, I, I'm still new to this. It's my first time I ever face polished, so I got the edges a little rough. I uh, got a little crazy with a 50 grit, but yeah. I mean, look at that line of quartz. It runs all the way through the stone. And you see it on the face. It's turned out perfect and beautiful. I love it. Very masculine stone. At least I think so. <laughs> uh let's see oh a piece of quartz yeah you always pass this stuff up i mean it's on the beach i find tons of it and uh this one was big enough i thought i cut half of it off to turn into cabs and uh just basic cabs nothing really fancy it was just going to be quick little wraps for my chalet but uh yeah i mean there's a reason i keep picking this stuff up yeah it's got a nice texture to it nice and smooth uh, I love it. Yeah, it's not the biggest draw. It's not super crazy cool, but still neat. And a pudding stone. My wife had picked up in Rogers City on a vacation a while ago. And it's been sitting on her shelf for about forever, <laughs> ever since then. And she finally, uh, thanks to my friend Kelly, she learned about face polishing. And she said... She wanted me to cut it in half, turn half of it into calves, and the other half for face polish, and there you go. Now you know why they call it pudding stone. <laughs> Little pieces of, what do they say, that cherry and raisin, and yeah, it took a great shine too. Got a nice glow to it. Very cool. It's going to be fun shape too. It'll, I intentionally cut it so that I, it would lay on this side and it would turn up so you can see it when you walk by and it's not like it's not laying flat where you have to so you can set it on a desk or whatever might be the case if she wants to take it into work and there you go nice little decoration for her and this is a piece of banded shirt i picked up i believe from my friend's field and i love banded shirt it is so much fun and i was cutting into it to make calves i got some stunning calves out of it and uh yeah, like I, like I said, I got a little bored trying to slice it all, and I decided I wanted a piece. This is the first stone I ever picked up that I wanted to keep for myself. So, and it does not disappoint. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. This one is a me. Uh, for once, I don't usually keep things. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of uh, uh, just having things laying around. But uh, yeah. I'm definitely keeping this one. I love the banding, the lines. I got a little bit of a... Maybe I should have taken it down a little more in the 50 grit, but... Yeah. I think it looks cool. And I am definitely going to keep that one. I don't know what I'll do with the other two, but uh, these two... I mean, this one's cool. I like it. Maybe I'll keep it. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll take that one into the chalet and just use it as a display piece there, if nothing else. Maybe. Maybe I'll throw a little price tag on it in case somebody wants to love it enough to take it home. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's kind of neat. So, yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the uh, face polish. And um, I hope it encourages you that you don't need the perfect vibratory flat lap or perfect machine to do it. Just got to do it. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.